last time on Sailing Katopa, Grandma arrives in the Bandit Island. She brings us presents. We have fun with the kids from a nearby village. We go sailing and Grandma sees dolphins on the bow. We headed off to another island. This one was very close, only three nautical miles away. The island Pisung. We passed it the other day. It looked beautiful, so we thought we would check it out. We arrived and started to work out how we would anchor as it was the same deal, really, really deep, then shallow reef. Except for a corner of the island that had a section looking promising. But we will just throw mum in to check it out anyway. Sean, are you going to jump in right now? Go look at the shark. Jump in with the shark. There's a shark there. Sarah, are you lying? After mum convinced grandma it was only a reef shark and the shark swam away, she hopped in. You ready? Wait, Josh. Go on, jump in. Oh, holy dooly. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> wow, it's a massive warm. Mum directed Dad where to drop the anchor. After checking it wasn't damaging the reef, we decided it looked good enough to stay and explore for the day. We free dived not far from the boat, as at first Dad was a bit nervous about our anchoring. while it looks secure enough to adventure around this beautiful island. place is paradise. Check out the colour of the water. baby clownfish in this anemone, they are so tiny and cute. This anemone is their home and protects them from predators. These little guys have a protective mucus that allows them to live inside an anemone. In return, they keep the anemone in good health from things such as parasites.
place was unreal and looked amazing from above. Mum's ready to catch the drone. Don't drop it, no pressure. After a magical day, we pulled the anchor and headed back to our old anchorage at Volcano Abbey. And went ashore to Banda Nira for dinner. So it's Easter morning, I'm Katalpa, and we've got Cadbury Easter, Easter eggs. <laughs> <laughs> How long has it been since we had the good chocolate? Six months. Well, it's wow. kind of an egg. <laughs> Happy Easter, everybody! Katalpa was getting a bit dirty on her bottom, so Dad filled the scuba tanks and Mum hopped in to clean with her scuba gear, and Granny stayed on the surface. Okay, so Chantel's really scared of sharks and she's got a little bit of phobia of being in the water with sharks, so I'm about to suit up and get a big great white with my dive gear and jump off one side of the boat, and I'm going to pull her under on the other side, and Tar's going to film and see the reaction we get. So, let's see how we go. 101 shark attack. Who's cleaning? What part of the boat are you cleaning, Sean? Uh, the bottom part. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere down here. How are you feeling about being in the ocean, Sean? What's that? How are you feeling? You're not too oh, scared? Not I'm too a chicken, but... <laughs> Monsters yet. Nah. <laughs> 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 You're <on> front, <laughs> no that dinner was... for you. <laughs> that, was that was really good. <laughs> What are we doing? Making water? <laughs> Making water or cleaning? Okay. Making water or cleaning? Um, we're both. 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 Making water, wash the dive gear, and then we'll be washing. Okay. Meanwhile, the kids just get to be kids. This is why you bring a mummy to come to stay. <laughs> Got some fresh cinnamon from the Spice Islands. And fresh nutmeg. And fresh nutmeg. And it's all going in and the moussaka. And it's all going in this moussaka. It's very and it's exciting. a vegetarian moussaka. So That's we've got... That's what we like. <laughs> For the meat alternative, we've got mushrooms, almonds, cashews, onions, garlic, a bit of tamari, cinnamon and nutmeg. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds delicious. All right. I need another nutmeg though. I'll show us how you do your nutmeg. Yeah. In, in the garlic in the crusher. Garlic crusher. <laughs> oh, just cracky so shell. the Spice Islands are known for their nutmeg. And we bought some. A nutmeg. And if you had a little smell of a thing, it smells really good. Oh yeah. We're layering it in just like lasagna.
They oh. just had a disaster spilling coffee. Yeah, on purpose. He doesn't want to be where we have computers, all our cameras. You trying to self sabotage us, babe? Do you need more clubs? You should give the one up. You should give the one to um, what's his name? Oh, another news. Our Are masaka you is ready. Uh, Looks delicious. <laughs> we even found carrots today at the market, so we're decent. So. We have carrots and Cancun. Dinner time at home. Yes, Mum always sits on the floor. Just a normal afternoon at home with our neighbours. I think I can do a backflip. I'll have a go. I do it off the tender all the time. How hard could it be? Oh man, why is it so scary? This guy gets it. <laughs> Way! <laughs> <laughs> you show Bella. Show Bella how to backflip. <laughs> hey Bella. I did a front flip. I know, it was right. awesome. Happy with that. You're the one who because, wants to do it. It's weird because every parent's like, don't do a front flip, don't do a back flip. And these guys are like, do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. Maybe not today, but one day. After some nagging from mum, dad set up the swing. We just had to make sure everyone let go in time. Not the easiest when they don't speak a lot of English, but after today, they all learnt the words drop and let go. Drop, drop, drop! Let go, let go! Looks <laughs> 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 worse here. Yeah. When you're out there, you can see. Drop! 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 I think Grandma nearly had a heart attack watching us. So much fun. Thanks, Dad. Whoa, dude, you can walk on water. Uh, oh, oh, on the what have we got there? And a little cocktail. Oh, watermelon. Cocktail. Watermelon cocktail. Got the laptop set up. Flaking today because Taji's not well. So we're just pulling anchor. Dad gets frustrated every time we pull the anchor. Give him space, people, give him space. While we leave him with that, check out these guys racing. Finally, it's up, off to I Island. Sailing activities. That's <laughs> So that is I, I Island. And the rains are about to hit us. So we're about to um, arrive at A Island. I Island. Hoping we can find an anchorage here. So we're going to here, and that is us. I 
island, again, doesn't have many anchoring options and again says there is a free mooring buoy. But after our experience with moorings in Indo, we don't have much faith. But to get a better view, Mum headed up the mast. So we arrived into A Island, well maybe half an hour ago. The big storm followed us and it started swirling around everywhere and it's made it a bit tricky to be able to find where we're going to anchor if we can anchor. Again, it's really deep anchorage, it's like 50 metres and then to shallow reef. So we'll have to let the tender down when the weather settles a little bit and uh, go and check it out, I think. So we made a decision, we're going to go back to our anchorage because it's a bit dangerous to try and anchor here and definitely won't be able to stay the night, so... I came out all the way out here for nothing. Have a look around. The Captain Cook. Yeah, it's a pain. So what we're learning in Indonesia, all of the islands, they're just deep anchorages. It's just, you need a really good anchor winch uh, and a lot of chain. And we just don't have much faith in the mooring boy. From looking at the ones that we've seen, they're just dodgy. The wind's picked up and it's complete opposite to what um, the weather said, so we're supposed to be calm and out of the wind on this side and we thought it'd be a nice day to do some diving. But it didn't work out that way. Hey Cap. Oh, it didn't. So we're going to come back tomorrow. And if it's no good, we're going to gun it to Ambon. So we're back at our old uh, anchorage again. Again, Bella. Again. Do you like this anchorage? Why do you like this anchorage? Because kids come over and they do flips and, yeah. And it's fun. Aww. Join us next time on Sailing Catalpa as we finally make it to A Island and do some epic scuba diving. Hi guys, episode 84, done and dusted. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, keep it to yourself. <laughs> if you want to subscribe. Make sure you subscribe and press the little bell if you want to know when our new videos are coming out. We've actually got good news too. We've got our uh, anchor winch, windlass, that has come in the plane this morning, which we're awaiting to hear from and we can pick it up. Hopefully we can weigh anchor really soon. Yeah. Um, we've got some really cool locations around us, but we can't weigh the anchor. Yes. Um, on other news, we also wanted to let you know because a lot of people ask us all the time about our dive compressor and we have given our dive compressor so much rap. We just have had no problems and we tell everybody, yes, you should buy a cold tree and it's awesome, blah, blah, blah. But <laughs> on the way here, um, sailing, we stopped at an island and we did lots of diving and... It's broken and very worn inside and in a nutshell, we spoke to the... Um, person who sold it in Australia and he said he's had a lot of trouble with them so sorry guys if you've bought a culture with with our recommendations but we did have a good run up until now obviously and yes yeah, so there's only a hundred hours which is not a lot for a dive compressor so yeah we just wanted to let you guys know that because we didn't want to recommend something that was a little dodgy and that you would see would break in the future anyway yeah <laughs> so yes we do have a little bit of a fundraiser going on if you want to look at that it's down below in the comment section if you don't we totally get and that. that's for a new compressor component for the dive unit so we can get diving again Yes, because we love diving and hoping that can get sorted real soon. There's so many dive spots around here. There's so many dive spots. We are stuck literally, what is it, 20 nautical miles from like world class diving. Without a compressor. Without an anchor, winch. <laughs> <laughs> so the last uh, few weeks haven't been the funnest, but hey, everything's about to turn around and we're about to be on our way again. So very, very excited. We just want to say a massive thank you again for watching our videos. We hope you enjoy and stay tuned for next time. Bye. Love you guys. Bye.
Is that it? Yeah. Can I say any more? I don't know. I think they're still watching. Oh, it all comes all thanks to you all.